Oi, oi. It's Snoopy and the Red Baron. Come in, you pair of fucking carb loaders. Now, the, uh, the base juices are all paid for, lads, so just choose your fucking additions and let's detox till we've got mega cocks. Oh, my God, he's cleaned up for the wedding. Iggy's gone to rehab. Sober hands. This stack is one load of PG-rated, Disney-assed, witch magazine-approved, child-proof, high-vitamin fucking bullshit. Cheers. Do you think at some point soon it's going to start to degenerate? In antioxidants. Oh, here we go, lads. More juice. Delicious hands. I'm just not sure how much more juice I can manage, to be honest. Yeah, after you've had three or four really big juices. Yeah, whatever. So listen, I thought we'd hang here for a bit. Then a little stroll down Oxford Street, taking the funny T-shirts, hit one of my fave pretz, more juice, bit of a relax, then the Savo, shopping, relax, juice, and then to swords. They got a new waxwork of Zoella and some other wicked YouTubers. Sound tasty? When do you think it'll degenerate? I would think it'll degenerate soon. Oh, pissing pure innocent smoothie. There's no way we can talk more about juice. See, the thing about Juice from most places is you'll get all the fibre and most of the vitamins, but if it's been pasteurised, a fuck lot of the micronutrient content's been neutralised. Oh, no. No, I don't think so, love. We're not, um... Do you want to use jokers all of this? Sorry, fun. Wrong table. Uh, unless, um, one little sip -a -roo? No, mate! No! No! What, just to wet the whistle? I exactly. J just to wet the whistle. Uh, just to wet the whistle. That's right. Get that big old whistle really nice and wet. Mm -hmm. That is quite refreshing. Oh! I just wanna fucking suck, fucking suck, fucking suck, everyone. I just wanna fucking suck, oh, the whole night through. Oh, I love cocaine. Oh, I love cocaine. Like, I'm really passionate about my art, but I'm stuck working here, and it's like, like when's it gonna happen for me, you know? Probably never. Right. What are your actual chances of making a living as an artist? I don't know, like, not very high? Exactly. Not very high. Jen, I want to go full horrible. Take me to the nasties. All in good time, Hans. Look, I'm a life coach, so when I say sometimes you have to kill a dream to follow a dream, that's advice backed by a professional standards body. Mmm, I've said body. She'll be thinking about my body. Excuse me, mate. Fuck off. I had the strokes before you. <laughs> it did degenerate. I knew it would. Jeremy, what can I say? A, a man I know very well indeed. That's probably as far as I can truthfully go on the endearment stakes. Um, he's... he's not a great man. He's, uh, not a wise man. Uh, he, he's not always a, a good man. OK, where am I going? But he is a, a... a nice man. Up to a point. And I... like him. There, I've said it. Hope he's happy. Speech, Jazz. Speech, 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 speech. Um, thanks, Mark. We're uh, quite a gang, obviously, us two. Brains and the funny one. Uh, the old stick up his ass, uh, boring jumper one, and the sexy pep up the party acid in the punch bowl one. He loves triggering mental illness. But we get on pretty well. I mean, we have our ups and downs, like any couple. Hold on. If Hans is here, who's with the hostage? Oh, God, I've got an unattended hostage. And, uh, a boring bastard sometimes, but at the end of the day, we've lived together for shit long, and it's been all right. Oh, fuck. Got to keep the attention. Uh, yeah, and if I could just say uh, one more thing. Um, uh, Jeremy, Jez, uh... Please always keep on being you. Totally meaningless. I'm going to get rumbled. That is sweet. That might be the nicest thing he's ever said. Oi! April! Angus? Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh, f Oh. Hey. I thought you'd be here tomorrow. I'm actually quite tired, so... The inevitable jazz. How's the Dobby mission going? Disaster. She's got a boyfriend. She seems a lot happier, comfier in her own skin. She's blossomed. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, so, um, I know we don't have that many heart-to-heart -heart chats, but, um, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh-huh. I know nothing. Don't preempt. Blank face. Blank face. Look, you're the last person who I would 
ideally talk to about this, but the fact is, this will come as something of a shock. Total surprise. Earlier tonight, I had sex with a man in my bedroom. And I'm, I'm sorry, in your bedroom? Yeah. And I have feelings for this guy, Joe, but I kind of walked out on him and... Just to clarify, you, you were in your bedroom? Yes, Mark. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I really like this guy. Not the kitchen or, or the living room or any other room in the flat. I'm talking about possibly the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life and you're obsessing about roomal geography. No, fine. Go on. I, I, I'm sorry. I thought I was just totally open, totally cool, but now I wonder if inside I don't have some shame or confusion deep in there. Uh -huh. I get it, mate. And, and what, uh, out of interest, w was the temperature like in, in the room when, when you were doing it? Normal, unheated, regular air temperature. Hey, Mark, Gregory forgot his toothbrush. Oh, hey, Jess. Hey, dogs. Sorry, am I interrupting? I'll, I'll leave you two to... Sorry. Good luck. Dobby, are you all right? Sorry, it's just... I know something about you which I shouldn't really know, but I do know, but it's not my fault. Anyway, really great, Jez. Everything. Bye. Did you... do you know? Look, I'm sorry, Jez, but I've, I've got a webcam in my bedroom. Oh, my God. You watched me... I saw the whole thing and so did Dobby. Hey, Mark. Dobbs forgot the charger. Can I grab it? Oh. Wow, you must be Jeremy. Yes. How do you... I, uh, must have seen you before. Around. See you later. Him as well. You chose to go into my bedroom. You, you filmed yourself. I didn't know your room was bristling with surveillance equipment. All right, Jez. Hands. So, uh, it's all cool with Molly. I just wanted to say about tonight, um, sorry. About the garroting. I fucked up a nice lift home for us there and, uh, well, you didn't break my nuts about it. That's what real mates do. They, uh, they take a pound in, but they still come up smiling. A bit like Jez with that bloke in your bed. God, has the entire world seen this fucking video? I came here to talk to someone about this, get some perspective. Turns out I can just read the fucking YouTube comments. Yeah, they might be good comments. So, just to be clear for, for my records, you're sleeping with Joe regularly now. Can't handle it. I, I can handle it. I, I'm fine with it. Just what? You, you've... Gone gay? Your word, not mine. Sure, but let's say you had a Wikipedia page, which obviously you don't, regardless of how many times you try and put one up. Would it say that Jeremy Osborne was gay or straight? I don't fit into your tiny little boxes. I'm just looking for that sacred connection, and for that, I'd fuck any single member of the human race. Yes. Yes, I believe that. You know, I've always been a bit gay. I've always liked a bit of that. Like with Pedge and Darty. You and Pedge? We used to get pissed and pull each other off. Didn't you? You should have. It was great. I have a long and varied list of regrets, Jeremy, but not being pulled off by Pedge isn't one of them. The thing about sex with a guy, it's like getting your car fixed at the actual dealership. They've got all the codes. You just plug right in. I mean, you like blowjobs, don't you, Mark? I'm eating a fruit corner, Jeremy. Of course you do. But what's the most blowjobs you've ever had in one day? Like in the first happy days of a relationship? One. Right. Well, my life now is a 24-7 blowjob bonanza. I very much regret starting this conversation. Put it this way, I'm moving out and I've got a new address for you to forward my post to, Blowjob City. Jez, I've got to make a move. Cool. Um, here's that Beastie Boys CD I was telling you about. Thanks, but I don't own a CD player. Oh, yeah. Well, download the shit out of them. They're cool. Yeah? I think they started before I was born and one of them is dead. Listen, gotta go. See ya. Fine. The gay couple. I live with a gay couple. It's political correctness gone normal. I really like it, Mark. Do you think it matters if I'm not young, dumb and full of cum? Oh, uh, no. I mean, you're older and intelligent and full of cum. Yeah, except I'm not that intelligent because I don't really understand almost any of what the news is about. And I'm not even certain that I'm full of cum. Oh, I'm sure. How did I get here? I I'm sure you're full of cum. That's nice. Thank you. Another night in the bath. I really don't think you could call my life a failure. Look at that, I've got a sleeping bag and a duvet. If this was the olden days, I'd be a billionaire. Jez, I'm fucked. Molly found a wrap of coke in my pocket. Oh, man. So you're in the shit? Yeah. Well, no. 
I just said it was yours, so you're in the shit. You take the hit for me, mate, please. She'll break it off if she finds out I've been coking. Jeremy, is it true? The coke, yes, yes, it's mine. I brought some coke to the stag, and uh, even though Hans asked me not to, and uh, but he refused to have any. Yeah. He was like, come on. I was like, no, no. Why was it in his pocket? Because he took it off me. Why? Why? Because he was trying to spike people and drug little kids. And I was like, no way, dude. Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a spiker. It's just one of my things. Yeah. He was like, let's spike these shitheads. And I was just like, no way. I couldn't, I couldn't see that happen. The spiking. I guess I'm just a terrible, terrible shithead. Look, we've put up with a lot with you staying here. Yeah. But I think if we want the lifestyle we want... Yeah, look, sorry, Jez, but you're a bad influence. And uh, I think you need to leave. Can't I say one more night? After everything I've done for you, not just in the past, but, like, really recently... I'm sorry, Jez, but you, you, broke, you broke our trust. You're a, a liar and a pervert and a scumbag. And I never want to see you again. So, look, I spoke to Molly. Now, she thinks you're a dong. Slippery, like a real sketchy fucker. Well, I think she's a small-minded, two-faced buzz-killing machine. But she said I needed to man up, have the credit changed. She's decent, though. She is. I've always said that. So, I made the call. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. You put me on. Amazing. They found some more web space then. Yeah. Yeah, they must have uh, deleted some old photos and that. And, um, have you been back to your flat since we spoke? It's out of interest. No? What? I kind of broke in oh. looking for evidence and I sort of killed your fish. You killed Flop? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Flop was one of the good guys, man. He was old school. I know. I'm sorry. I always liked Flop. And there's one other thing I did that I shouldn't have... Not flip as well. No. No. I feel bad about this, but I took... Oh, fuck. What? I took... This. Oh. Uh, it's fine. Well, no. They cost money, and the bottom line is... Where's the fucking snake? It's your bag, and I stole it. And I feel... Where the fuck is he? Incredibly ashamed of that. Oh. Uh... No worries, dude. That's Jeremy. What's Jeremy doing in my bedroom? Mark, have you rigged your flat up with spy cams? Webcams. If Jeremy has nothing to hide, he has nothing to fear. Who's that? Some guy. He's taken some guy into my room. Oh, God, is he going to sell all my stuff or, or download something horrible onto my computer? Wow. OK. Jeremy's gone gay. OK. Is he playing the field or is this guy his boyfriend? I don't know. He's, he's always been pretty slutty and, and a bit... but not actually the full... God, maybe he does this every time I leave the house. Oh, God, what are they going to do next? I think I know what they're going to do next. Well, why can't they do it in his bed? We should turn this off. Yeah, we definitely should. That reading light's going to go. I wonder if they're going to be into penetration or just flip each other off. Yeah, that gives it a certain suspense. I, I really feel I shouldn't be watching this. Are, are they... It, is my room all right? Your room's fine, but Jeremy's cock's getting quite the hammering. Oi, hey, Marco. Ready to go. Molly's gang is staying here, so team hands off to burn down the village. Oh. What are you watching? Jez gets fucked by some guy on Mark's webcam. Right, fair play. How long have you been filming Jez having sex, Mark? It's accidental. I just wanted to make sure he hadn't turned up the central heating. You can relax on that front. I don't think they're going to need any central heating. I will not watch this. I'm going to go and stare into the mirror don't and wait care. out the fucking like it's an air raid. Woo! The reading light's gone, Mark. Oh. Um, excuse me, ladies and gents. Sorry. Excuse me. Oi! Sorry, hi. Uh, I'm afraid the, uh, the best man uh, has gone... AWOL. Um, but uh, don't worry, just, just eat some cheese and I, I'll get it sorted. Jess, Jess. Um, would you? But I've got nothing prepared. I swear, I just freestyle it, man. Yeah? But don't, uh, obviously, don't rap. 
Remember? After Stoke, you never rap. Hands. Super hands. I've known hands for many a year now. It's been a long road. And now, as you found Molly, uh, and I don't really want to get into this, but I've, I've started it now, but I'm going to bring it round, so don't worry. People said Molly wasn't right for you, that she was a downer. But you know what? If someone loves someone, he just loves them. And if that person is considered to be a downer or even a yawnathon, who cares? And even if someone loves another man or what's in a name or gender, is it possible to love two people at once? Three, four is surely the limit. But is it? What is love anyway? Is it uh, an act or a feeling? Or who am I to speak? Who are you to listen? Why is a marriage a marriage, but society says it's wrong for two men to love one another, even though now it says it says that now it's OK? Is it OK because society says it's OK? What next? Dogs getting married? Could I marry my own son? No. Possibly not? Correct. Or is it? What I'm trying to say is that people should do whatever they want to do at a temperature that suits them within limits. Thank you. Pretty sure someone's going to print that speech on a tea towel someday. Yeah, eat that, Obama. Fuck off, Mandela. Take that, Mark. I'm the best man. I'm the best man who ever lived. Hey, Alan. What's up, Captain? What's the skinny on the dope? Good morning, Mr Corrigan. Mr Corrigan? Do I smell corporate lube? Am I about to get organisationally fucked? Is that Baker from Regional? What? What is this, Alan? I'm sorry, Mark. You've just stepped into the arena naked. In a matter of seconds, wild beasts are going to fly to your delicate areas and tear you to shreds. Is this about the permanent markers? Because mm. I needed them at home for projects. Ah, oh, sorry, mate. You're getting shit-canned, Mark. You're getting fucked by a flagpole in your tiny little vagina. Jeff! Yeah, I had a rifle through my old address book. I'm in. And you're out. What? But ca can't you do anything? Sorry, Mark, you're contaminated. You're the astronaut with typhoid, and I'm going to stand well back while you're fired out of the airlock. No, Alan. Remember all the good <clears throat> times, Alan. So, Mr Corrigan, it has been brought to our attention that you certified a loan to a friend of yourself ticking the certification boxes without adequate document checks. Well, this is gross negligence, and we're dismissing you forthwith. I'm sorry, which loan was this? Um, to a Mr Osborne. Jeremy. It's come to light due to a complaint. What complaint? Who complained? Well, Mr Osborne has been in contact to say that he believes that the granting of this loan to him was um, out of proportion with the just working of the universe. He does not wish to be responsible for another Greece. And he's claiming mental incapacity due to the influence of the internet reducing his attention span against his own will. But I can get the money back. I know him. I can get it back. Mm. I'll jam a biro in his eye and drag him in here today. That may be your way of operating, Mr Corrigan, but it's certainly not ours. Shafted by a piss addict. I've cleared out your desk, mate. You have wet wipes and your mega puzzler. I'm hung out to dry. I'm human laundry. Oh, Jeff, Jerry and Johnson. A trilogy of shit. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, but I need backup. Angus is coming. April's husband. You didn't mention the husband, you dark, filthy, dirty horse. Yes, well, she's got a husband. And in 30 minutes, he'll want some dinner. I need to bulk out. Lettuce. Bulky lettuce. They'll bring wine, but we need booze. Where's the rum? Get the rum, make a cocktail. What cocktail? Any fucking thing. Rum and water, rum and milk, chop some parsley into it. They're all basically horrible. It's action stations. Fuck! How quickly can you get to Mr Patel's and back? Mr Patel's? Austerity cornflakes and Latvian feta? Look, here we go. Beans. Everyone likes beans. I can't serve baked beans. Beans are pasta sauce. Beans are not pasta sauce. They're tomato-y. Ketchup is tomato-y. That's not a pasta sauce. It is when I make pasta. What the hell are you doing? I I'm picking the beans out. With your disgusting human fingers? Mashed. I, I can mash them. Right, we're getting somewhere. Cooking's all about confidence. I'm just going to mix it all together. I need to go Nigella. I'm going to be the hairy biker. That's not Nigella. That's not even Ainsley, mate. <laughs> 
How about some lovely filling lettuce? What are you doing? I'm improvising. Good. It's like, whose pasta is it anyway? Yeah? How old are these? I don't know. They're always good. Eggs, aren't they? Till they hatch. Are they? Yeah. You know what? Maybe it's fine. Is it Moroccan? Maybe it is Moroccan. Yeah, Morocco. <laughs> Anything goes in Morocco. Right. OK. I like it that way. They can't prove otherwise. Fuck them. Exactly. That's the dinner party spirit. Fuck them all. <laughs> Listen, Mark, the past will be fine. It'll all be fine. Do you think? Absolutely. Uh, <sighs> shut the fuck up. What was that? I've done something brilliant, Mark. Shut it. What the fuck have you done? I know it's my birthday, not yours, but I got you a lovely present to say sorry for making you lose your job and never paying you any rent and for falling in love with Dobby for everything. Fuck. Angus. Jesus, Angus, are you OK? It's fine. I wanted to come. Could I possibly get a glass of water? <sighs> they said they were going to chop my penis off and put it into another orifice. Oh, Angus, shush. Bants. Mad bants. They said they had a sock with a rock in it. They made me drink urine, Mark. Human urine. He greedily gulped from a bedside bottle that happened to be from the golden sauce. Let me go, Mark. Will you let me go, please? Angus, you, you must know I had nothing to do with this. There you go, you naughty monkey. Drink it nicely this time. Not gulpy. Did you send the text? Yes. I was worried Ibiza was too much. Was it too much? What the fuck have you done, Jeremy? I've done a good one. I've cleared the coast. The coast is clear. The coast is not clear. We're all going to prison. You've gone totally loopy. You kidnapped Angus. Or did I invite an unstable oddball for a lift in Hans's van, then back to here for a snifter, then he accidentally got locked in my room for a few hours? It's our word against his. <sighs> this is bad. This is really bad. This is brilliant, and it totally worked. You're back with April. Yes, until she finds out. I mean, what's the long-term plan? The long-term plan is sucky-fucky. Sucky-fucky is not a long-term plan. Look, right, I want to beat Angus, but fuck April. Freudian mixed doubles. Jeremy, can you hold your racket up? <sighs> this is just one thing after a bloody another. Face forward, please, Jeremy. Actually, I'm probably going to go. You can't go. This is match point. Ooh, are we going to win the match? <gasps> what if we lose the match? The match, the match, the match. Can we just finish the game and do this afterwards, please? Fine. If it comes at me again, I'm not hitting it. Unlucky, Angus. Welcome to hell, old man. Shut, Mark. Can I go now? Because I'm only here so you can fuck the historian, and I really don't see that happening. It's Angus. They've made up, and now he's everywhere. I invite her to the library, he offers to give us a lift. Tennis, he makes it doubles. I mean, just look at him, hogging his wife. The big, brainy, wife-hogging shit. Fuck tennis. It's basically bullshit ping-pong for giants. I'll bring the car around. OK. Now, Mark, steal his wife while he fetches the Vectra. So, uh, April, there's, um... There's a talk on at the British Academy on Friday. Ooh. Andrew Roberts doing a, a jam on World War I trench letters. Love amongst the mustard gas. There's literally only two tickets left, sadly, because I bought the last eight and burnt the other six. So I was wondering if you'd... Oh, Mark, I'd love to, but it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to have my moles mapped. Oh? Yeah, I can get a little bit jumpy, mole-wise. <laughs> Freckle on the kneecap. That wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, I'm picking at it with a craft knife, trying to cauterise the wound with one of those creme brulee torches. Oh, April and your charming neuroses. I've been looking for a half-decent mole-mapping place for ages. By no means am I excessively moly. It's, it's not like I'm riddled. I just like a full-body ordnance survey. Well, that's amazing, because not everybody is up for, you know, having their genitals photographed. No, I, I am. I, I'm... Bang up for that. Well, be nice to have some company. It's a date. A weird, kind of creepy, dermatological kind of date. They all count, April. They all count. Jerry said he doesn't want coffee. He said he'd make his own later. He said, like he was joking, that your coffee tastes like horse piss, but I don't think he was really joking. Try a bit harder, Jeremy. And then he hit me. He did not hit you. Look, Mark, you need to face facts. Jerry's a wanker. Kick him out and kick me back in. No. Why not? No reason. Is this the Dobby thing? No. But is it? Of course it's the fucking Dobby thing. I knew it! You tried to profess your love to my girlfriend, who I was trying to propose to. You fucked up my life. So? What do you want me to do? I want you to apologise. Fine. 
Obviously, I think we're both very sorry about what happened. No dice. I'm really, really sorry, Mark. Say it properly, Jeremy. I'm sorry. Nope. All right, fine. I admit I shouldn't have come on your picnic. And? What? Look, I'm sorry, all right? Finally. And if you like, I'll lay it on with a trowel and tell you how I like you. Oh, Jesus, he's going to say he loves me. And even... Apology accepted. Well, thank you. Come on, Mark. We're into Kelmscott Manor and the Icelandic landscape. Maybe I do sometimes wonder about Jerry, but I've made my bed, so I've just got to... Well, maybe I can help with that. What's he doing? Mark, look, if you're really not into the William Morris doc, why don't we change gear? The Sopranos? Ruskin. Oh, John Ruskin. Art patron, draftsman, watercolorist, and philanthropist. Yeah, listen, um, I'm afraid I have an announcement to make. I've discovered that in order to keep himself interested with all this garbage he pretends to like, Jerry drugs his head off. <laughs> Don't be pathetic. I saw you put something in your pocket. I didn't like what I saw. Coke, Mark. Jerry is a cokehead who loves to take coke. No, you put that in there. I took it out, which is a very, very different thing. N no, you put it in earlier. You put it in at an earlier time. Oh, what a terrible thing to accuse me of. Come on, Mark. Time to knack off and we'll get down to some Ruskin and a reading. The, the thing is, Jerry, I I'm not sure I could live with a drug head. This is ridiculous. It's laughable. Why are you trying to get rid of me, Mark? You don't believe him. Maybe I'm not quite as interested in William Morris as I thought I was when you first started to go on about him. Well, why didn't you just say? I can't just say things, Jerry. What if I don't want to go? Well, we can't go back now. The, the atmosphere is soured. We have no choice. No, I can live in a sour atmosphere. Well, I can't. Yes, you bloody can. Tough. I'm going to go to my bedroom now, and I'll be coming and going as I please. Oh, hi, Sophie. Where's... I'm sorry, but don't start. Ian's with my mum. Is it OK if we do it tomorrow? Meet us at the Kid Cave. But I've been preparing all sorts of great IQ games. I've stuffed a piñata. It's filled with nature facts, with the odd carob-covered raisin to keep his morale up. Look, I'm sorry, Mark. I need to talk to you. Have you got any beers in? This isn't America, Sophie. I don't keep random beers in. I, I might have some rum, but you probably... Fine, won't. rum. She's a bit rum-keen. So, uh. What's happened? What happened with Ian? Oh, it's fucking Duncan. Obviously, you're going to feel jealous. He's around the whole time. I know how you feel about Duncan. I love Duncan. Sexless, unthreatening Duncan. Teaching him maths and tag-teaming the Mandarin flashcards. Duncan's a great guy, but he's a shit. Oh. OK, because since Duncan's been around, uh, Ian's scores have been through the roof. Scores? Have you been testing our son? No. I mean, I mean yes, just a bit of basic intelligence testing. I, I do it to me and Jez, too. Just to keep track. Yeah, well, Duncan, you know how he tutors? Of course. When I saw how Ian could hold a pen, I nearly shat. Well, I think he's getting a bit fucking cosy with one of the mums, Alison. Remember Alison? Oh, look at my floaty dress, Sophie. Is it too much for the pub? Oh, right. What do I do? I'm pretty sure he's having an affair. Well, I, th I think you shouldn't be too hasty. Maybe everything will run its course with Duncan and Alison. You think I should wait until he's bored of humping her? I just think... Duncan sounds like a real catch, and people are multifaceted. Just let him get Ian started mm. on the viola in ancient Greek. Mm. OK, we're nearly there. Last two. This doesn't feel good. It's fine, Mark. It's like a prank. Oi, oi. How's the ethnic cleansing going? Hands. I thought it might be a good idea to have some backup. I owe Jez. He took a bullet for me. You, your pure chrome dildo. Solid. OK. Everything's out. What now? We could tie him to a hot air balloon and he would drift away out of the window. Um... You like that? The hot air balloon? Or punch him? Hands? You look at me for? You punch him. Maybe you could sit on him, intimidate him. Yeah? <laughs> Fart in his face. Psychological warfare. Yeah, grind him down. Attack his beliefs. Yeah, that. Plus we fart. What is this? Farty Guantanamo? No, I... I, th I think we have to wake him up. Just... Tell him to leave, like men. Or oh, he is sort of bagged for our convenience. Hmm. What? We could just bag him up and sling him out. I'm definitely going to agree to this. I just need to put up an acceptable level of objection so I can be all reproachful if it proves to be a disaster, which it almost certainly will. No. 
No way, no. Well, okay, but on your heads be it. Baggy man's. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey! I got him. Hey, hey, hey! He's bagged. You fucking, what's going on? Sorry, pal. You are surplus to requirements. Put him out. I I'm sorry, Jerry. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Ah! I thought you were going to grab the other end. That's the normal way. The normal way? None of this is normal. I've got a verbal contract. He doesn't. You don't, Jerry. Yes, I do. Small claims court. I I'm not part of this, Jerry. Put him in the lift, hands. The lift? <laughs> Fucking hell. You got a wheelbarrow. Why are you doing this, Mark? I want to read my Napoleon correspondence Ow. and watch Ow. Storage Hunters. Does that make me a bad person? Don't put me in the lift. Stop. Wriggling. So I give him a kick. Don't, don't kick him. Do not kick me. Jerry, stay still. This will all be over soon. I'm being kidnapped. All good here. It's just a prank. It's high jinx. We're the Croydon Bullingdon. It's not a prank. Shush, Jerry. I'm calling the police. Shut it, or you're getting waterboarded. Do not bloody waterboard me. I warned you. Waterboard. <laughs> this is horrible. You two, seriously. You need to take a look at yourselves. He's right. Offensive behaviour. In he goes. This is against the Geneva Convention. I'm contacting the Citizens Advice Bureau. <sighs> I'm back, baby. The bitch is back. Bye, Jerry. See you at work Butter tomorrow. Eat the toast. Eat the toast. Shit the toast. God, life's relentless. The April door closes. The Sophie door opens. The loveless marriage. Cut off the cock and stick it in a jar. Might be a relief. I slept on it, but actually I couldn't sleep because I became filled with this boiling feeling of rage, and now I've actually decided it's the worst thing that ever happened. Jez. Joe's beginning to realise that I'm a loser. It's very important that he doesn't realise that I'm a loser because I'm not a loser. And would an aggressive campaign to claim shared credit for the lyrics on a little bit of song on an internet football video make you look like a winner, would you say? Yes. I, I really think you need to let this go. Take the advice of a man who's been scientifically proven to have above-average intelligence. Oh, not the IQ test. I wasn't concentrating. 133 IQ. So what if I had a bit of help? It's only the dunderheads with their low IQs who don't figure out the way to win is looking stuff up on the internet. I don't need to take a stupid IQ test to know I'm three times as intelligent as you. Oh, uh, really? And what's three times 133? Three hundreds and thirty and thirty and thirty, but then the all the threes? Is it a trick question? Mark, no one does maths these days. We've all got calculators in our pockets, just like all our maths teachers said we wouldn't. Anyway, this proves nothing. Probably most people are below average. Oh, fuck. Han says it can't be changed. Apparently the net has run out of web space and they don't have enough bytes left to add my name. Do you think he might be taking advantage of you because you're mentally subnormal and have a brain the size of a pea? This track is my Citizen Kane. The lyrics you want to claim credit for, that's the electronic voice saying, at all protected, at all protected. Yes, those are my words. Inspired. I remember because I was reading the small print on a plane ticket when I came up with them. Copied them. Discovered them. Hang on. It was your plane ticket. You went into a rant about the Civil Aviation Authority and how atoll protection wasn't something to make light of. That sounds very believable. Yes, you've cracked the case. OK, I'm here to borrow a brolly. If anyone comes, I'm saying I popped in to borrow a brolly. Here we go. Apple grievances, lemmy. Lyrics. Nothing. Nothing at all. Right, fuck him. Revenge. Revenge is the sexy man's justice. <laughs> Ooh, someone who is expecting cornflakes is going to get a big fucking multi hit of shreddies. Boom. That is inconvenient. OK, I'm going to lick these apples and put his bank card in the freezer. You start swapping the CDs into the wrong cases. OK, I'm going. Wait, watch this. Oh, Jesus, I'm a backup burglar. I'm a burglar's PA. No, Jeremy, really? Goldfish in the shreddies? Is that your budget version of a horse's head in the bed? It's the free gift that's going to send him clinically insane. Well, for God's sake, leave the snake alone. Hey, fishy. And the IQ fishy. testing is complete. So, you two writing a book together? I do the bulk of the writing, but Angus's ideas are what the book's built on. Uh, April's doing herself a disservice. She's the real historian of the two of us. I think of myself more as a... As a theologian, really. The Holy Roman Empire is a guilty place. He's very decent. Morality, very wholesome. Trinity, How can I steal his wife? These aren't 
fashionable subjects. That's all above our heads. Especially yours, eh, Jez? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Always rely on Jez for a chuckle. Oh. I'll show them. Can I ask you a question, Angus, of a theological nature? I'll see what I can do. Did Jesus have a cat? I wouldn't have thought personal pets in the sense that we... If you don't know, just say. Well... I do find it interesting that all you pointy heads living inside your Westminster bubble... I'm not a politician. People like you in your ivory towers who are like, who gives a fuck about the real issues? The issue of whether Jesus had a cat? <clears throat> do you dig in? What is it? Um, it's Moroccan, like my eyeshadow. It tastes like baked beans on spaghetti with lettuce. Well, I'd hate to call you a racist at my dinner party, but I think it's a little more sophisticated than that. <clears throat> it's from the Atlas Mountains. This is a disaster. Joe thinks I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm Paxman. To be honest, uh, I've never really got it about Jesus. I mean, apart from all the Christian stuff, what did Jesus actually do? What did Jesus do apart from Christianity? Yeah, put that aside the moral universe we all live in. I'm not knocking the guy. I'm just saying, you know, apart from that, what did he actually achieve? You know, I'm not saying I like him, but at least Hitler did some paintings. If you're comparing Hitler and Jesus, I'm afraid Ooh, I'm out. Hello. Naughty, naughty Megan. Am I betraying Joe or Megan more? I like him loads, but I'm her life coach. What the fuck, Joe? No, don't cross the streams. Shit. What the hell? I, um... That was actually Mark's foot. He does that sometimes, for laughs. What? Put your foot in my groin under the table. No, I don't. Mark's got his shoes on. He's quick. He slips them on and off. It's part of our flirty, dirty game. I have no idea what he's talking about. There goes a valuable glass full. What's going on? What's going on? My boyfriend is fucking my life coach. No, Megan, can we talk about this, please? Oh, brilliant. Freak show, sideshow at the shit show. You know, Angus would have been more than welcome to... Yeah, he, um, didn't fancy it. I caught him reading the Nicene Creed on the toilet. Oh, April, you are joking. Ting! He said you went to a Byzantine church. Look, I, I didn't want to dob him in, but we went for a stroll and it was like he couldn't help himself. I mean, we went for a ploughman's afterwards, but the mood was pretty sombre. So I ate both his pickled onions. You know... April, it's at times like this when I just want to throw my hands up and say, let's take drugs and go crazy. <laughs> oh, God, help me. God, I haven't done this since uni. Am I doing it right? Yeah, no, <clears throat> that's great. Some lovely fat lines of Chang. Do you always have coke lying around, you big druggie? It's leftovers from Superhand Stag, but it's good shit. It's real... Top quality, taste the difference shit. Let the Great British snort off again. <sighs> Eye of the tiger. Fuck you, everyone. Fuck you, Dad. Mm. Ah. Mm. Delicious. <clears throat> As always, mine compliments to the chef. <coughs> Christ, it's gone all the way up my nose and into my throat. Doesn't taste very nice. What if it's off? What if my head swells up like a melon and I never sleep again? I feel completely normal. But also, a bit like I want to karate chop my hand through a very high stack of poppadoms. You could hold up a, a kima naan and I could punch my fist through it. Kung food! <laughs> <laughs> I have never been this intensely funny. Angus would never do this unless we talked about it and tabled it with our therapist and dissected it to death. Oh, tedious. I mean, I don't even want another line. The last thing I feel like is another line. Well, that's it. I'm an addict. <clears throat> but that was actually probably my favourite line of the two. Because I found this cruise, OK? Three months in the med, just what we need. God, she's trying to patch things up with Angus. God, my teeth are dry. Cocktails, six meals a day, bad karaoke. He said no. April, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. First time I've ever said it. You've got to live in the moment, because right now I feel like staying up all night or running to Thornton Heath or throwing my iPad out the window. Go on, man. Yeah? I mean, which? Because I'll do it. iPad. Yeah, because it's just an iPad. I mean, what is it, really? Just some very thin microchips. Go on. I'm, I'm going to do it. Don't you think I should do it? I'm totally doing it. Should I do it? You should totally do it. I'm totally doing it. Regretting act of spontaneity before I've completed act of spontaneity. Bye-bye! 
Fuck you, iPad! I can't believe you just did that. I know. You're like the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Mark. <laughs> Mark Smash! <laughs> she thinks I'm funny. Mark Smash! <laughs> oh, my God. I should get going, but thank you for an amazing evening. I've kissed her. I've kissed her on coke. If we take smack, maybe she'll get divorced and marry me. <laughs> I need a bit of headspace. Molly. She's a base, mate. Marmite in the Marge. She's a slob. My peppermint shower gel just laying on his fucking side, oozing. What's that all about? I can't live like that. He's never smelt of peppermint. You all right? Yeah, fine. Knackered. Three-day bender. And then Mark got fired because of me and I couldn't sleep. Because of the guilt! Yeah. And now he's not speaking to me. She piles her dirty socks in the basket, even though it's already overflowing. And I'm like, what, do you think he's going to eat? I'm like the fucking cookie monster, love. Shush, Hans. I'm trying to think about myself. Hang on. Mark, did you piss in my piss? Because this piss looks funny. Don't mind drinking my piss, but your piss, that's over the line. I understand. Well, th thanks for calling. Goodbye, April. You're right, mate. Super hands, will you please inform your friend, Specimen A, that I'm not talking to him? Mark, oh, mate, not now. It's Molly. I'm in fucking bits. Well, likewise, April's gone back to her husband for good. It's over. Everything's over. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry your life is ruined and it's partly my fault. Is there a buzzing? An irritating, backstabbing sort of buzzing? Oh, God, don't be such a wanker. He wanted his loan written off and, well, he succeeded. Yes! Sorry. But he's lost a friend in the process. Molly's end is on Cory. Cory till I die. It's a sign, isn't it? You've got to choose. You can't be City and United, can you? Look, Hans, can you shut up? Yeah. Because as we speak, the love of my life is buying cruise tickets with her husband on the high street with the intention of sailing away forever. And I'd very much like to sit here and watch a property-based reality show while she does it. Look, mate, but I can't just let you sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Let's bloody well go and stop her. If I wanted to stop her, the last person I'd ask for help is the most thoughtless, selfish, venal idiot I've ever met in my life. He's talking to me. I win. Mark, I'm going to help you save the day with April. I'm going to be your love butler. Come on, let's at least go and spy in case there's something to be done, yeah? Hmm, I suppose it might be better than having a cry in a cornetto. You're 40 today. Yeah, apparently. That's what the banner says. But you said you were 38 turning 39. Did I? Yeah, maybe. I forget. Yeah, 38, 39, 40, in that area. You definitely said you were turning 39, uh, the big 3-9. It's not a big deal, whatever. So. Why lie? I didn't. I just misspoke. It's fine. It's just... It's weird that you wouldn't think it's fine. Look, Joe, I'm sorry, but the truth is I'm 40 and I don't want to go raving for a week. I want to stay up till about 1 and then go to bed and listen to my Mr. Nice audio book. Bed at 1. 1 isn't even the night. It is, Joe. Look, I can't rave all day and fuck all night. And honestly, I don't even like drinking my own piss. You drink your own piss? Yes. I eat cashews and I drink my own piss and it doesn't work. I'm never going to be young, dumb and full of calm ever again. And that's that. Fine. I get it. I want to come with you, but I'm just scared I might die. Maybe I'll ask Megan if she wants to come instead. Joe? Don't go, Joe. Oh, I've driven him away with my horrible oldness. Right, well... It's over with Molly. Apparently, I'm not even allowed to do a little fucking novelty kidnap. So, uh, bollocks to it. I'm going to van it to Macedonia, finally set up the moped rental. Yeah? Yeah. Laters. See ya. Are we going to be all right? The project to reintroduce wolves into this habitat has been controversial. That's the last thing I need. Now they're bringing back wolves. Oh, God, I am so tired. What next? Bring back smallpox? We all had fun with the smallpox, didn't we? Is it time smallpox had a reboot? Mark, will you pull me off? I'm not about to pull you off, Jeremy. And if you think about it, I'm sure you don't really want me to. Sure, whatever. I just thought it might be comforting. But what about I read to you from Napoleon's correspondence? If I was going to kill you, I'd have a great sign-off. Yeah? 
You always loved history, Mark. Well, now you can be part of it. Bang. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'd just come at you in the night. Pillow on the face, cark. Yeah, that's you all over. Ah, <sighs> oh, we do love each other, really. I simply must get rid of him. <laughs> 